as you go along, you'll say, well, this could be run a little smoother, or this yard could be just configured a little differently and I could run more trains through it. Or, uh, for instance, with my control panels, uh, I've redone a, a few of them because I didn't like quite the way they, they indicated where the trains were. So I, I, you redo things and improve the layout constantly. started out with one command station, then I went to power district. There's eight power districts, so I have a, a, a booster in there. Uh, now, fortunately, on such a small layout, I could have gotten away with one, but I, I wanted the extra power in case any shorts happened and that sort of thing. That's part of the power management. And DCC allows me to run multiple trains, and right now there's three trains running simultaneously. I don't have to do a thing. They, they automatically will avoid each other at the, at the critical spots. Um, but I could run a dozen trains, and quite often do when I have an operating session. If you're going to start building a helix, first of all, do it on paper. Make sure you know how many uh, revolutions you have to make, how many levels to get to the height you want with enough clearance in between. Uh, the other thing is, don't be afraid to, to do it in sections. Like mine is not a single piece of plywood. I took quarter inch plywood, cut it, I, I laid it out on the floor, cut it into um, trapezoids, and got a whole helix out of one four by eight sheet. And then I laid the trapezoids over each other, overlapping until I had half inch thick plywood. And, and that made it a lot easier. And then I just put it on the bandsaw and cut it. To the, to the round, but uh, if you try and make it out of solid half inch or thicker plywood, you're going to use a heck of a lot of sheets of plywood. We're looking in my workshop where the model railroad comes through the wall, comes out onto a yard, does a turnaround and goes back through the wall into the main layout room. And it's covered in plastic to protect it from the dust of my workshop. You can see the panel there with uh, the layout of, of this particular yard right here, Woodsville, New Hampshire. Uh, a drill, tweezers, scissors, X-Acto knife, uh, a sharp straight edge, uh, some cutter, side cutters for sure. Uh, typical modeling tools, but you don't need all of the things I have in my shop in order to build uh, a model railroad. It, it helps, it makes it easier for me, but uh, you don't need it. A good, a good saw, a circular saw or a jigsaw will do just fine cutting your wood and uh, hand tools to do everything else. Mm -hmm.